Welcome to Review Central's first quiz and reviewer on the life and works of Dr. Jose Rizal. Whether you are a student of Philippine history, an avid fan of our national hero, or simply curious or intrigued about the life and works of Dr. Jose Rizal, this quiz is for you. This quiz also serves as a reviewer for those eyeing or are set to take the licensure exam for professional teachers in the Philippines. Just a quick note for those who are watching this video as a reviewer for their upcoming LEPT. For your reference and guidance, the life and works of Jose Rizal falls under the personal and civic responsibility section for general education of the revised table of specifications, as released by the Professional Regulatory Board for Professional Teachers, and approved by the Commission on the Board Resolution No. 11, Series of 2022. This is Review Central's Jose Rizal Quiz No. 1, focusing on the young Jose Rizal. There are 10 questions featured on this quiz. Before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to Review Central and click or press the bell button to make sure you get notified whenever we post a new reviewer or other review materials on this channel. Now let's begin. Question number one. According to his birth certificate, what was the registered complete name of Dr. Jose Rizal? A. Jose de Alonso Realón de Mercado Rizal. B. Jose Pedro Alonso Realón de Mercado Rizal. C. Jose Protesio Rizal Mercado y Alonso Realón de. D. Jose Protesio Alonso Realón de Martinez Rizal. The correct answer is C. Dr. Jose Rizal's complete name was Jose Protesio Rizal Mercado y Alonso Realón de. Jose and Protesio are his baptismal names. Rizal Mercado y Alonso Realonda is his family's quadruple surname. Many wonder why he used Rizal while his father was Francisco Mercado. He should have been Jose Mercado, right? So why did Rizal's surname become Rizal instead of Mercado? Hold on to this thought as this will be revealed later in this quiz. But why is Rizal's complete name so long? Spanish names, including those from Spanish-speaking countries follow the Spanish naming format which is to take the father's name as the family name, and the mother's name as the middle name. So Rizal already has at least two names to begin with, his middle name Realonda, and his father's surname Mercado. It was also the practice of some upper-class and well-to-do families during Rizal's time to take or adopt another surname. Both of his parents have double surnames, resulting to Rizal and his siblings having quadruple surname. We're guessing that it was a status symbol kind of thing back then. So Rizal's complete middle name was his mother's double surname, Alonso Realonda, while his complete full surname was his father's double surname, Rizal Mercado. Lastly, just like now, it was already a practice then to give children two names. The favorite practice then, and even now, is to pair a saint's name with another name. In Rizal's case his first given name, Jose, which was from San Jose, was paired with Protasio. Question number 2. What was the date of birth of Dr. Jose Rizal? A. June 18, 1961. B. June 19, 1861. C. December 30, 1861. D. July 19, 1871. The correct answer is B. It was on June 19, 1861, on a moonlit night, between 11 and 12, that Rizal was born. He was born to Francisco Rizal Mercado y Alejandro and Teodora Alonso Realonda y Quintos in the town of Calamba in Laguna province. He had nine sisters and one brother. His parents were leaseholders of a hacienda and an accompanying rice farm held by the Dominicans. Question number 3. Dr. Jose Rizal had blank sisters. A. 1. B. 3. C. 6. D. 9. The correct answer is D. 9. Dr. Jose Rizal had nine sisters, namely, Saturnina, Narcissa, Olympia, Lucia, Maria, Concepcion, Josefa, Trinidad, and Soledad. Five of Rizal's sisters were older than him, while the other four were younger than him. Rizal's younger sister Concepcion, nicknamed Concha, did not live long to see Rizal's martyrdom. She died early at the age of three. 
Two other younger sisters of Rizal, Josefa and Trinidad, became members of the Catapunan. Both died as thinsters. Question number 4. Who was the older brother of Dr. Jose Rizal? A. Hasha no Rizal. B. Simon Bolivar. C. Pedro Paterno. D. Francisco Mercado. The correct answer is A. His full name was Pashano Rizal Mercado e Alonso Realonda. Pashano Rizal was the second of 11 children born to a wealthy family in the town of Calamba, Laguna. He is the older and only brother of Dr. Jose Rizal. Pashano was a huge influence to Rizal's life. He would constantly send money to Spain and update his younger brother of the friar's abuses in the Philippines through letters. In January 1897, after his younger brother's execution, Pashano joined General Emilio Aguinaldo in Cavite. He was appointed Brigadier General of the Revolutionary Forces, and was elected Secretary of Finance in the Departmental Government of Central Luzon. During the Philippine-American War, 1899-1913, he commanded the Filipino forces in Laguna. U.S. troops captured him in Laguna in 1900. He was released soon after, and he settled in the town of Los Baños, Laguna. He lived a quiet life as a gentleman farmer and died on April 13, 1930 at the age of 79 of tuberculosis. Question number 5. Why is Teodora Alonso considered as the first teacher of Jose Rizal? A. Because she is the first one to teach Jose in reading and writing. B. Because she is the mother of Jose Rizal. C. Because she always tells Jose what to do. D. Because she is very assertive when it comes to Jose Rizal. The correct answer is A. Because she is the first one to teach Jose in reading and writing. Jose Rizal's first teacher was his mother, Teodora Alonso, who taught him how to read and pray and who encouraged him to write poetry. Later, private tutors taught the young Rizal Spanish and Latin before he was sent to a private school in Biñón. When he was 11 years old, Rizal entered the Ateneo Municipal de Manila. He would later study at the University of Santo Tomas to study law, and then switch to medicine to specialize in ophthalmology upon learning that his mother was turning blind. He continued his medical studies at the Universidad Central de Madrid in Spain. Question number 6. Where did Rizal first formally study? A. Colomba. B. Adeneo. C. Binyan. D. UST. The correct answer is C. Binyan. Rizal first studied under Justiniano Aquino Cruz in Binyan Laguna, before he was sent to Manila. Prior to this, Jose Rizal's first teacher was his mother, who had taught him how to read and pray and who had encouraged him to write poetry. Later, private tutors taught the young Rizal Spanish and Latin before he was sent to an all-boys private school in Binyan. Question number 7. What social class does the family of Jose Rizal belong to? A. Peninsulares. B. Creoles. C. Insulares. D. Indios. The correct answer is B. Creoles. Creole and mestizo are colonial racial categories referring to children to a Spanish parent and a Filipino or Chinese parent, usually a Spanish father and Filipino or Chinese mother. In some books, Creoles include Insulares, pure-blood Spanish who were born in the Philippines. Traditionally, the Creoles enjoyed various government and church positions, and made up the majority of the government bureaucracy. Rizal himself was a Creole of Spanish, native, and Chinese descent. Question number 8. When did Jose Rizal drop the last three names that made up his full name? A. When he started writing Nolimi Tanjere. B. When he went to study in Europe. C. When he went to study in Ateneo. D. When he joined the revolution. The correct answer is C. When he went to study in Ateneo. Upon enrolling at the Ateneo Municipal de Manila, 
He dropped the last three names that made up his full name, on the advice of his brother, Pashano and the Mercado family, thus rendering his name as Jose Protasio Rizal. Of this, he later wrote, My family never paid much attention to our second surname Rizal, but now I had to use it, thus giving me the appearance of an illegitimate child. This was to enable him to travel freely and disassociate him from his brother, Pa Shano, who had gained notoriety with earlier links to Filipino priests Mariano Gomez, Jose Burgos, and Jacinto Zamora, popularly known as Gomberza, who had been accused and executed for treason. Question number 9. Jose Rizal received his four-year practical training in medicine at blank. A. Hospital de Santo Thomas B. Hospital de San Juan de Dios C. Philippine General Hospital D. Hospital Universitario en Madrid The correct answer is B. Hospital de San Juan de Dios Upon learning that his mother was going blind, Jose Rizal decided to switch from studying law to medicine at the Medical School of Santo Thomas, specializing later in ophthalmology. He received his four-year practical training in medicine at Hospital de San Juan de Dios in Intramuros. Hospital de San Juan de Dios is the oldest hospital in the Philippines, started as a medical dispensary opened by Fray Juan Clemente, a Franciscan lay brother, in 1577. Question number 10. At 16, Rizal experienced his first romance. He fell in love with which girl? A. Leonor Rivera B. Maria Clara C. Leonor Gonzalez D. Segunda Catigba The correct answer is D. Segunda Catigba The love-smitten adolescent Rizal greatly detailed his blossoming young romance with a 14-year-old Segunda Salis Catigba, whom he addressed as La Senorita K. in Chapter 6 of his Memorias de un Estudiante de Manila. Memoirs of a Student in Manila It was during one of Rizal's visits to his maternal grand-aunt Doña Basilio Bazan de Leyva, a friend of the Katipak family, who lived in Trozo, Manila, that he saw Segunda. She was the sister of his classmate and Ateneo municipal and trusted friend, Mariano Katipak, who incidentally was his companion during that visit. The charming and graceful Segunda captivated the young Jose. Rizal vividly described her as Short with expressive eyes, ardent at times, and drooping at other times. Pinkish, a smile so bewitching and provocative that revealed some very beautiful teeth, with an air of sylph. I do not know what alluring something was all over her being. She was not the most beautiful woman I had seen, but I had never seen one more bewitching and alluring. Segunda and Rizal's sister Olympia were then studying at La Concordia and they eventually became friends. From then on, he frequently visited his sister and used her as an excuse to see Senorita K. During Segunda and Jose's conversations in those visits, it was truly evident that they fell in love with each other. And truth to tell, we loved each other without having declared it clearly, except that we understood each other through our glances. The blooming romance did not materialize, however, since Segunda was engaged to marry her uncle Manuel Luz. Rizal also, for his shyness, failed to propose to her. With poignant words, he lamented in his journal. This is how it ends. My youthful and trusting loves ended. The first hours of my first love ended. My virgin heart will always mourn the reckless step it took, on the flower-decked abyss. My illusions return, yes, but indifferent, uncertain. Ready for the first betrayal on the path of grief. You have just completed Jose Rizal quiz number one, focusing on the young Jose Rizal. If you wish to watch more Jose Rizal quizzes, check out our Jose Rizal quiz playlist. Check out also our other playlists for other topics. If you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to subscribe to Review Central and click or press the bell button to make sure you get notified whenever we post a new reviewer or other review materials on this channel. Please like if you find this video useful, and feel free to share it to anyone who may also benefit from it. Keep learning!